Hi you guys, happy November, welcome back to the desk corner. Um, I know a lot of you guys have probably been wondering where on earth I have been if you watch my channel frequently or if you are one of my friends here on YouTube and I just wanted to come back really quick with this introduction. I really want to get into some art because it has been so long, way too long since I've created any of my own art but I just wanted to give a little bit of an explanation as to where I have been um, because I know that this is probably the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube. It's been over a month since I've posted anything and it's been over a month since I've even created my own artwork. So everything is okay, everything's fine, but basically what has happened is I've entered a really busy period of my life unexpectedly. Right now I am teaching, I am an art teacher for middle school, it's insane. I don't even know how this happened but I've been doing that for about a month and then I also have a second job. Um, and I'm also taking some classes and they are sort of to help with my career path if I want to continue with teaching but they also apply to what I'm doing at the moment at my current job so they're very useful but they do take up a lot of time because they are accelerated courses because I signed up for them a little bit late. So I've got the two jobs, one of them being teaching which requires a lot of planning and preparation and everything like that and then I also have the two classes and in the past month I've just had a lot of social obligations for when I'm not working or not studying or something like that. I guess I just didn't want to put out a video that is super super short or just really like low effort and I thought I would just wait until I knew I had enough time to at least put out a decent video for you guys if that makes sense and that explains why I've been absent. Now I have a lot of catching up to do. I've missed a lot of my YouTube friends videos which I'm usually very good about keeping up with and I'm really sad about that. I'm feeling inspired in a different way but within my own self and my artwork that I'm creating for myself, I haven't been inspired lately. I'm also just too busy to even have the time to do it. But today, today you guys, I'm actually going to create some artwork and I'm so excited. It's been so, so long. I'm just gonna jump straight to the desk view and we are just going to create something and I don't really have a plan for it. I just need to like I'm just itching to paint or draw or something. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. In my time away, I've acquired a couple of packages sent very kindly by a couple of companies. This one I received first, so I'm going to first um, use this one, but I'm very excited because I even have some new material to work with. And so Artbeak sent me this cold press watercolor block. It says it's 100% cotton paper, which got me very excited. You guys know I love cotton paper. Also, I'm sorry about the ring light lighting because I'm using my ring lights to light right now and I know it's not ideal but once I get the plastic off I think this should look better. So thank you Artbeak for sending me this. I'm going to actually use it today. I'm in the mood to create a watercolor piece I think. I think that's a good way for me to get back into it. I'm going to be a little bit rusty. It's actually not that I haven't created any art in my time away. I've done samples for my students but it's just not the same level, if that makes sense, because I'm bringing it to more of a middle school level, and so I haven't really been challenging myself lately, so I might be a little bit rusty. Let's just go ahead and open this up. Here it is without the plastic. Still a little bit reflective, but that's okay. So I'm really happy about this because this includes 32 sheets, and I actually don't have a lot of watercolor paper as is. This is a block. Luckily, I do kind of remember how to get this out properly. Let's just hope that nothing goes wrong. I do need to remove this little cardboard piece before we actually get into creating the artwork. It might actually be a little bit harder to remove than I thought because I don't actually see any, any real gaps here. I've got everything sort of set up now and I thought I would just sketch in some pumpkins and just make it a little loose, a little bit fun. Um, they're not going to be perfect. I of course missed Halloween on my channel, which I mean that is just preposterous. I mean Halloween is my favorite holiday, as some of you guys know. I do have so many Halloween videos already though from previous years that I should have mentioned in maybe the community section for those of you that wanted to see Halloween content especially if you are newer to my channel and you haven't been following for a very long time. I actually do have a lot of holiday content already from previous years, but it made me really sad to miss Halloween on my channel. That is my favorite, so is fall. So I thought it would be really fun 
to go ahead and create some pumpkins because pumpkins still work well through November as well. And I'm going to start speeding this up soon. I just feel like chatting with you guys. It's just been so long, you know? And I just feel like a kid at the candy shop right now actually sitting down at my art desk and being able to create something. It's actually really exciting for me and therapeutic. And I do have quite a few hours to work on this today, which is a miracle. I'm trying to work my schedule out in a way where I'm going to have time for the channel. But I also just wanted to let you guys know I'm never gonna stop making videos on my channel. The channel has been around for a while and I've just put way too much work into it to ever actually stop using it and to stop actually creating art videos. It's just too much fun for me to share my art process. And so even if I take breaks sometimes or if life gets busy, I'm never just going to quit my channel. I just can't see myself doing it. It just feels like so much hard work has been put into my channel and I wouldn't want to just let that go or let the channel completely die. And I'm glad that a lot of you guys still are enjoying my videos. I've got a lot of comments that I haven't gotten the chance to reply to yet, but I actually think I'm gonna do that over lunchtime today and just catch up with you guys that have been commenting on some of my previous videos. And yeah, so if any of you were worried that I was going to quit YouTube, for those of you that are worried about that. I don't think a huge percentage of people um, would have missed my absence too much just because it hasn't been super long and I know everyone's busy and all that. But I'm not going to quit YouTube. I'm not going to ever quit making videos on my channel even if I have to take breaks during busy um, periods of life. And I'm not actually going based off of a specific reference photo right now. I have some references of pumpkins in front of me so that I can just kind of get the shape right but I'm actually just going to make this my own a little bit and I don't think I'm gonna go based too much off of any specific reference. Um, but as we're catching up, I guess I just wanted to know how your guys' Halloween went for those of you that celebrate it. What did you guys do? Did you do anything fun? Oh, I saw a lot of um, my artist friends here have posted Halloween content that I missed and I even missed some Halloween movies that I wanted to watch, which is just a bummer. But I did get to do a couple of fun Halloween activities regardless. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been keeping up very much with all those videos and movies that I normally would have liked to watch. I'm very much a person who likes to enjoy the holidays with movies and YouTube videos. So it did make me kind of sad that I didn't get to doing that this year. Okay, I don't know what I just drew here, but it looks not right. And I'm very rusty here with drawing also. I think if I do it this way. Another thing I wanted to mention was um, Inktober or the very, like, uh, many variations of it. For those of you that did it, I actually didn't really get to look and go on Instagram very much either and see what people are doing this year for Drawtober or Inktober or Halloween themed challenges. I did actually do Inktober one year. I think it was 2019 actually. So I've done it before. It's very unlikely I'll be able to do it in the upcoming years, unfortunately, but I am hoping that eventually I might be able to do something like that again. I know Inktober kind of got canceled in a way, but I would like to participate in some of those drawing challenges again once I can. I think they're just so much fun. But I guess I was also fresh off of a challenge where we were creating as many artworks as possible in our sketchbooks, a lot of us artists here on YouTube. And that was actually one of the last videos that I posted. That might have actually taken up a lot of my remaining energy <laughs> during that busy period when it just started. So I'm glad I made that video at least because it felt like a pretty big video to make and to leave off on. I think I created just a rooster artwork after that for fall. So I'm glad I at least got a little bit of fall artwork in. Okay, this pumpkin is looking extremely deformed. Just terrible. I was just thinking about the future of this channel and how I can go forward um, continuing to create videos without putting too much stress on myself to put aside a bunch of extra time for it that I just don't have. 
And I just figured the best way to do this would just be to sometimes take longer to create the videos I want to create, so maybe it wouldn't be a weekly thing. And I'm not saying every week that would be the case, but if I wanted to create a bigger, more intensive video that just included more, it might take me a little longer than a week. I used to post like once a week. Sometimes I got into a cycle of twice a week. And I just don't know if that's realistic or possible for me in this period, unless I was also just creating maybe like one super short video per week. The reason I was so busy at the beginning was because I was working over full-time hours. At the start, I had to do some um, assisting in the other art teacher's classes as well. Now that's luckily over with, and so my hours have reduced to something more manageable. But again, I've also got that second job and some classes that I'm taking, which might take up a lot of that extra time. But it's manageable, and I've looked at my schedule and realized that there will be time for me to create art on my own time. There are days where I'm mostly just going to be working at home, doing stuff from home, and that actually gives me a lot of extra free time. Commuting and all that just adds to the time and almost makes it nearly impossible to simultaneously, or sim what, what did I just say? Simultaneously create art videos here on my channel. So there's the two pumpkins. I'm just going to draw one more in the background here. Take a little bit of a break from talking, and the reason I'm talking so much is just because I've missed so much. I just feel like we have so much to talk about. I don't like this stem either. I don't like how that looks. I don't. Oh, one more thing I wanted to cover before we get to the actual sped up painting process is the holidays coming up. So now it's officially November. I know my channel just straight up missed the entirety of Halloween, but we do have some other holidays coming up and I do celebrate Christmas. I love creating Christmas content here on my channel. And as you guys know, I'm, I always do my annual Grinch drawing. I'm trying to think of some more ideas for what I might want to do for the holidays. It's always a good idea to get a head start, especially when you're having to manage your time a lot differently. My time management has definitely had to improve a bit in recent weeks and months. So I am just thinking ahead already for what I want to do for the holidays. It's actually going to be a little bit less busy because of the school's winter break. So I actually am going to have that extra time. So I'm not just sitting here like, yeah, you guys, I'm going to be able to do this and then I'm never going to do it. Um, I actually will have that extra time during the two week holiday break. Sure, I'll have some other work to do during that period, but my classes will also be ending at that time because they're very short and the next ones won't be starting until uh, January. So realistically, I will have quite a bit of time to maybe actually dedicate to focusing more on this channel again. And I'm just really looking forward to that. Like I'm so excited. It's not gonna happen for the fall Thanksgiving break for sure. That one is already looking like it's going to be pretty busy, but when I get to that winter break, you guys, I am just going to be planning some ideas now to see what I could do with my channel and my own artwork in that period. I'm just very excited. So there you have it. I've got three pumpkins. I'm debating whether I even want to have them on a surface here or if I just want to create maybe like indications of where the shadows might be like this. And then I might just paint in the shadows rather than create a whole surface, which tends to um, lengthen the process considerably of an artwork when you start to do backgrounds and all that. And we're just going to be using my Senlier watercolors as usual. Again, this is the Art Beak pad, so in my sped up uh, voiceover, I'm going to include a bit of a review of this paper, and my first impressions of it, as we actually start to paint on it. And I'm glad that we got all this introductory stuff out of the way and catch up time at the beginning. So without further ado, actually, actually, does this pumpkin look awkward on the side? I think it's actually meant to just not go out very much further like that. I think I'm just making it worse here. I think that looks good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. And I'm just going to get straight into the painting. 
As I mentioned before, I wanted to choose something that wouldn't take me forever to do and forever to edit and a very long time to complete the video overall because it's just been a while since I've posted anything and I need to get back into the swing of things. Not just with artwork and creating the artwork, but also just with editing and getting those videos up. I really kind of lost some of that streak that I had going. You get into a routine when you make YouTube videos, especially when you have a content schedule or calendar and you have a weekly posting time or however you do it. So getting out of that has been a little bit tough for me because I had this routine going. However, I think it's gonna be easy for me to get back into it and I'm just starting off small here. So let's talk a little bit about the paper. This is kindly sent to me by Artbeak. I'm going to link their products down below in the description box. I'll link this paper so that you guys can go check it out. I really needed some new watercolor paper and this is really absorbent. It took quite a few layers on some of the pumpkins. I went back and layered a lot. I'm very rusty with watercolor here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did go back and layer some and the paper took that really well. I like how the tooth of the paper is. It is a cold pressed watercolor paper, by the way, which I prefer to hot pressed because it really just takes more layers well compared to hot pressed in my opinion but I do like hot press better for watercolor pencils. So I do have some Arches watercolor paper at the moment and a smaller block of watercolor paper, but I just don't have quite as many sheets as I would like to to get the practice in that I need. And I'm very grateful to Artbeak for sending me this big pad of paper because now I can create a lot more watercolor art. So thank you again to Artbeak. I hope that you guys enjoy this little pumpkin painting. I know that we spent a lot of time catching up and chatting, which I felt was necessary after taking a long break and not too much time just working on the artwork. Sorry about that, you guys. Is there anything you guys would like to see from me? I do have another package sent to me that I'd like to go over in maybe my next video, but I'm open to suggestions for what you guys might want to see. I've been out of the art world for a while. I haven't been catching up with anything on YouTube or anything like that recently, unfortunately. And yeah, I missed you guys so much and I'm happy to be here creating art with you and talking with you. All right, you guys, here are my little November pumpkins. I was actually debating on making this back one purple and then I realized it is no longer Halloween. I refuse to take down my Halloween decorations quite yet, but it is no longer Halloween. However, I think pumpkins fare well in November anyways. And my palette is as messy as ever and I'm happy to see it messy because that means I'm actually working and creating some of my own artwork. So exciting, you guys don't know how excited I am to actually do this today. I think I'm gonna wait for this to dry and I don't wanna take it out from the block until it is completely dry, of course. But I am hoping that it won't warp very much, the whole point of the water color block is to prevent it from doing that, I believe. And thank you again to Artbeak for sending me this pad of paper. I will link to their website down in my description box down below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I am hoping to be way more active on this channel going forth, and I'm very excited about what's to come. And I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully soon. Bye, you guys.